Yo, welcome back everybody. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to create two characters in one scene. So the assignment, I will record a 30 second to one minute conversation between two characters in Character Animator. I will add two characters to a scene and press record at my seat and start talking. I will make sure that my character doesn't come with a background. That is super important. The conversation must go back and forth. Conversation is not one person talking and the other character just there. They have to interact. They have to go back and forth with each other. Okay, when I'm done, I will click export in the top right corner and turn it in as a .mp4. So let's cruise over to Character Animator and see what we have. So in Character Animator, we see that we have a scene and we have a character. When we click here on the home button, we can click a second character. And as we click that second character, it also creates a second scene for us. Well, what's cool is it's got a little character icon here. It's got a little scene icon here. We can take Red Monster and we can bring him down and drop him into the Tull scene. And now all of a sudden we have two different characters in one scene. Okay. Um, what's cool about Red Monster is he's still active. But when I click down here on Tull, now Tull is the one that is active. Tull is the one moving. So we need to move red monster over so he's not covering up tall so how we do that is over here in the transform we can take the position of the x and we can drag it over to the left and then we can take tall and we can take the position of x and we can move him over to the right but as you can see we can only move him just ever so little bit so here's this, here's a hack if we click this and drag this over and then we take our X position. We can drag it all the way over because my mouse has more room to move. Um, in the event that you can't do that, you can just double click on the numbers and you can type in. And as you're typing things, it's moving actively. So that's how we do it. Hit enter when we're done and we've moved them over. We can also change the scale. So if we want told to be a little bit smaller, if we want him to appear like he's way far away, or we can make him seem like he's a lot closer. So we're going to move him there. We can also move him up and down uh, with our Y position. All right, now we have our two characters. Now it's time to make them talk with each other. So Tull's going to kick it off. He's going to talk about, I don't know, let's just see what happens. Yo, Mr... <clears throat> Scratch that. All right, I goofed up. Oh, that's important to know. Let's say I goof up. You just click and drag a box around everything, and you can just hit delete, and it will all disappear. All right, and then we can take our this, and we move this back over. Okay, here goes. Starting over. Yo, Red Monster, I haven't seen you in forever. Then we stop it. We click on Red Monster and make Red Monster active. And then we hit record. Toll, I know it has been forever. What have you been up to? Stop. Um, we can collapse these. We'll go back to Toll. Record. Dude, I just made it over to Hawaii, and guess who I saw at the airport today? Yeah, you won't believe it. It was Mr. Renner. I looked up, and I was like, yo, Mr. Renner, what are you doing here? And he told me he's going on vacation. Go to Red Monster. No way, are you telling me that you really saw Mr. Renner? That's crazy. That's like so cool. I'm jealous. I wish he, he, he was here in class with me because then he could teach me all about character animator. Go back to Toll. Yeah, but isn't he teaching you with tutorials and stuff? So it's basically like he's there. I mean, that's pretty cool because then if I have questions, or if you have questions, I should say, you could go back and rewatch that tutorial. That's pretty cool of him. 
back down to Red Monster. Yeah, that is pretty cool. And it turns out I can make money, like lots of money, by making tutorials and putting them on YouTube and making shorts and, and cartoons. So thanks, Mr. Renner, for, thank Mr. Renner for me for teaching me how to uh, make some character animator stuff. This is pretty cool. All right, so there we have it. Um, that's how we do it. Okay, now it's time to export. We'll go up to export. And down to make sure that we put it inside of our folder on our desktop. So if we're not sure if it's there, we click on desktop, character animator, click save, and then we can click export. After this is done exporting, it will show up inside of our folder on our desktop. And then we just take that .mp4 file and we will put that into the assignment right here and we will upload it here for our character animator. All right, uh, if you have any questions, let our substitute know. Our substitute will text me and I will be able to help you with each and every one of your questions. Might not be till tomorrow, but I will definitely answer your question. Oh, also, if you want, you can keep watching this because here is the full recording. Yo, Red Monster, I haven't seen you in forever. Toll, I know it has been forever. What have you been up to? Dude, I just made it over to Hawaii and guess who I saw at the airport today? Yeah, you won't believe it. It was Mr. Renner. I looked up and I was like, Yo, Mr. Renner, what are you doing here? And he told me he's going on vacation. No way. Are you telling me that you really saw Mr. Renner? That's crazy. That's like so cool. I'm jealous. I wish he, he, he was here in class with me because then he could teach me all about character animator. Yeah, but isn't he teaching you with tutorials and stuff? So it's basically like he's there. I mean, that's pretty cool because then if I have questions or if you have questions, I should say, you could go back and rewatch that tutorial. That's pretty cool of him. Yeah, that is pretty cool. And it turns out I can make money, like lots of money by making tutorials and putting them on YouTube and making shorts and, and cartoons. So thanks Mr. Renner for, thank Mr. Renner for me for teaching me how to uh, make some character animator stuff. This is pretty cool. All right. The end.